What's up guys? Welcome to the artclasses.com. Today we are going to talk about the relationship between line, shape, and form. So um, there's like a bunch of questions uh, that are asking how do I get the silhouette right away when I was painting and today I'm going to show you how. So all right and the uh, tablet giveaway is still going on. You can uh, post the uh, comment and become a subscriber and I'm just gonna randomly pick you guys and then I'm going to announce it at the end of the week I haven't picked anyone for July yet uh, I'm going to announce it I've been kind of busy so I'm going to pick and announce it uh, on Saturday so on Saturday just listen to who will win the tablet uh, on the QA questions alright and I still have a class at the artclasses.com group class or one-on-one -on -one. Um, you can just join me for the live class uh, it's open in uh, September and October. Okay, let's get started. All right, today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about form and line. Um, basically, um, I have a question, uh, which is good. Uh, questions always give me ideas to make a good video for you guys. Um, Kyril Zikri writes, Hello there, nice vid as always. I wonder how pros do their painting without even sketching. I just saw what you did and I don't understand how you approach it with just silhouette and value. When drawing with tablet, I just separate the space with line eyes so in drawing, shape tells many story but directly painting. What you just saw, you, you, uh, you put color pigment here and there and then boom. So basically, um, so these are Okay, let's get rid of the refine here. Um, oh, this is a wrong file. Uh, one sec. So sometimes I will like if I need to do the action pose, I'll sketch out line in sequence, right? If you have a uh, line, so if you look at these, you see some of them like in this one, uh, the sequence of a sword cutting uh, will be the final one, uh, like here, right? You refine it later. So that's line. Um, so in painting or in drawing in general, you have to establish the solid drawing first, right? To get a good looking art. So, but it always starts with a sketch and you have, uh, uh, you build a sketch into uh, a solid line drawing. So that's a base sketch right there. And then a uh, wait, right? And then you build it up to from here. To there and then you start drawing and you have a line drawn with a bunch of design on it so that's line it's same thing with uh, shape but with the shape the reason if you draw a lot um, you can just come up with the shape and the relationship between the shape and the line are pretty similar if you go to like live drawing a lot sometimes just you can use a, a charcoal stick and just practice drawing the, the mass. It's called mass drawing, basically. So you just draw the mass. If you look at this post, and where is that one? And this one here is basically pretty similar. So it depends, I think a lot of time it depends on your um, visual library in your head, like how many posts you see in your head. Uh, once you have some idea in your head of what the post you're gonna be, uh, or sometime I just start scribbling without thinking of any pose. Uh, I just kind of scribble and see, trying to find the shape or the, the pose of what I have. So this one is uh, this angle backward, pulling the sword. This one similar, except she has a lens. So it's basically you just feel in that line. But uh, to start off, basically you could, if you want to get proficient at this, uh, you can start off with the line and then fill in with the silhouette. And once you fill in the silhouette, so the, the stage is drawing, uh, drawing to get line, and line to get shape, shape, then you get form. So form will come after this, so you, you can start building form. But in this one, um, I decided that the base color will be two section. Um, so one base color will be light, and the other one will be dark, which is uh, her light base color will be the skin. And then uh, the dark base with the clothing. So uh, you can build up on the, the, the base color and then you can create form. Um, that might be a little confusing, right? But it's not really. If you look at these, this one's a, a little more monochromatic, so it's a lot 
easier to understand. So you have shape, shape, then you build form on top of the shape. Just uh, you have to assign the lighting. So a lot of geometry form, like it, if you're good at creating geometry form, um, building like a circular shape like these, you know, sphere shape, not circular shape. You get the the circle, and then you build a form, so it becomes a sphere, right? Or and then here's the same thing. This part is so like a sphere, and this is a cylinder, and then you start building it and building it, and then it become this. And finally, if the if it looks fine after thirty minutes, then you can start spending more time and finish it up, right? So line, shape, form, and then uh, you can start fixing up shape. And there's always the shape is not only the shape outside; it's also the shape inside of this. Um, painting and stuff that make everything look or give it form also um, all these lines in painting are very important uh, contour line to give the to bring the form out that you show that the arm is coming forward and this way show the arm coming forward right or you can have um, you can find this on my um, this was on patreon in july but now you can just go to gumroad.com so last year's you're gonna see the tutorial on this one um, you know and then if you if the object is going into space you can have this shape same thing so basically when you paint you still have to use a contour shape of a line to help uh, convey the painting uh, this done this one's not quite done yet probably it will be in on my patreon in uh, august i think and from line to shape and then to form so that's basically it and if you want to see some uh, this one you can go to this video I start off with line and then go into the painting but then uh, line and then you get feeling the shape and then you have the form by feeling you have the form because of the light with the absence of light there wouldn't be any form there would just be shape you would see everything in two dimension um, and this one I start off with shape so you can go to this one and see you know how I start off with the shape also a little tidbits of things uh, you, when you draw and you're not having any shape, it's always a good practice to notice where the part of the object or part of your limbs are going. Like this one, if you have a contour line that this way, it's come and help bringing this forward, right? And um, this hand, you have this curve that curving down, so you're going that backward. And this one, you have curve up, it's going forward. So. Um, when you create a character, don't just do straight line for the character. Try to bring them out and have a cross contour across the body. And also every object that are on the character are also very important um, to convey the form without using the light. You can convey the form also by just using the line. So line, contour line, or you know, cross hatching. If you're cross hatching the contour way, also you can have like a cross hat of the you see some people do the contour cross hatch. Right? So that will also uh, bring out the form. So it's there's so many ways to do um, many things, right? So uh, but you can start with the line first, just practice and get to the shape right away and then um, you can add the form on top of that and then you'll be fine. But you want to see the whole process Let's go here and there that's with the line and this is with the shape and if you guys are interested in taking my class uh, it's still open uh, there's a digital painting 101 for uh, September I think and then there's a character design in September also uh, it's either one of those September or August just go to the adclasses.com and then you will see my class and then you can join my class and we can go into depth about all these things all right there's a group class and private class um, and we will have live class every week and then i'll send you a video every week to learn something and then you can do the assignment and then come and take class and also you can support me on patreon you get the video uh, tutorial every month uh, a lot of them so all right guys well um is there more question i think there are more i almost forgot i wasn't just gonna do one um Okay, how could we? Charles J.F. writes, I still have a hard time with color and shading. How would I improve this? So, um, would you just improve it with uh, good drawing? And then, if you want a 
good shading is basically you trying to get form and when you're trying to get form you have to, to know um, geometry or how to render a certain stuff so you can um, try to render a bunch of geometry form and make them look good you can set up like um, you have a, everybody has balls in the house so set up a balls and set up like some kind of box right um, and then just turn on the light on a certain angle and you can have if you fancy you can put uh, you probably wonder why people always like in 3d max or any program you have a teapot because teapot it's one of the pretty good way to do material study um, because it's metal and you sit this right next to that and sit it right next to the box so the box when you set up the box and the balls you you learn how to do a sphere shape and uh, all those kind of um, different how how light how the plane flat plane is different from the sphere plane right and if you have any object like maybe water bottle not water bottle uh, plastic cup or something you can put that as a uh, cylinder form so all these form are really, really important and you can do cylinder and cone are pretty similar so set those up you can set it individually and then practice one by one and you know you're gonna get um, get to know all these form in depth and it's really important it's not just for fun um, because if you break all the character design or anything down it is basically a geometry shape um, say if you look at this dude here right um, this his head is part of the sphere and part of it like this whole thing is basically a, a sphere base and depends on where the lighting hit this one is backlit so you have the light from there um, his shoulder is what is sphere like a quarter sphere and then this one is part of the cylinder so if you round it up this will be so, so the lighting will be different you have like the light here if it hit then come down and inside here we have a highlight there so, and then the arm you can break it down to a cylinder um, basically the, the main form but in the muscle will be different this will be sort of like be a cone right a little bit different so everything is part of geometry so if you geometry that well then you just okay I connect the round shoulder with the sphere and see how the light would hit there so practice from there and then you'll be good and you can also take my classes um yep take my class you'll get better and even on the portrait you still have a, a, a different plane um like my last video was like we talking about a change of plane which is uh, kind of related here just click on the icon there and you you see the um, how I explain form so basically those are form and also there's another question Christopher Chavez, uh, what are the most important thing to draw when drawing for something to be 3D model, front, back, and angle, small details? Um, if you are doing a 3D model of, of your drawing, your own drawing, um, I think pretty much the silhouette, the shape, you have to get, if you're drawing a people or something, your anatomy has to be right, and then the shape has to be um, very, so basically silhouette. Um, try if you get the like I explained earlier if you want to get a pretty good uh, silhouette then you have to uh, make a really good drawing and all these shape you know you have to make them um, look good and then the, the armor will come out you have to know which is in and which is out which one's on top of which and um, the overall shape has to be appealing like you have to have uh, all these um, it doesn't have to have a lot of detail this one doesn't have any detail at all but um, it look fine and, and if you um, take it further then you can add more detail so you can model it but the most important thing is the, the shape of the overall object um, how it looks and how it will, like if it look imposing enough or if the shape looks good enough um, if you can tell what it is then it, it's good so start with a good shape so when you draw thing of the shape like if, if the guy is a warrior or if, if the guy is a caster or something like that so shape would come first basically uh, because the form you're going to create it in 3d so you don't have to worry about the, the form in your painting or it's just going to be drawn in 3d so just silhouette and then another question 
Patrick Lamont, how do you stay healthy and strong when you sit in front of a computer all the time? I'm worried about getting diabetes. Diabetes and I have lower back pain. It takes me 16 hours to even get close to what you do in an hour and a half. Okay, um, it's gonna take a lot of practice. I don't sit in front of the computer all day. Uh, I gotta, I, you, I get up and move around every couple of hours or even less. And I do go like, I used to go for a jog a lot until I screwed up my knee. Uh, that was like every morning routine. Um, and then I, I usually go work out in the afternoon and even if when I was at win, I would just go work out with the crew. Uh, find some people, if you not motivate yourself, find some people who you work with that you can go work out with and stuff. So, you know, and cardio is important. Uh, make sure all your joint is moving um, because if they're not, then you might have a problem later on and your shelf life is going to be short. If you have a long shelf life, you can do art for life because art is not basketball. You know, <laughs> you can't play basketball forever but you can paint forever and you can always get better until you like even if you're old like you know um renoir he paint until he's old um all right guys well thank you for watching and don't forget to you can download my stuff at my website and or you can go to patreon.com slash you can find me on instagram twitter and everything it's always uh, slash zeteptara but on instagram it's a uh, slash zeteptara01 all right guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the qa session on saturday bye bye Okay guys, thank you for watching the video and here are all my Patreon that's uh, now is increasing. So it's thank you very much you guys. This is uh, from level 4 and up. So thank you Cubinator, Sebastian, Rob Roberto Herb, Hanuman, um, John Holloway, Antonio Hernandez, John Saipos, Doug Taro, Steve Young, um, Hassan Ali, Paul Castle, Dominique, Samuel, Gary, Leon, Jeff, Savage, Vilas, Richard, Luna, Nera, Eric, Austin, Goy, Hammer, Tom, Angel, and Joris. So thank you very much. Uh, these are all my, these are the level up and Patreon supporter on July. And if you're interested, I release a pretty cool video on Patreon every month. And you can go just follow it on Patreon. You see me post an image every week. And again, uh, video tutorial downloadable giveaway on Instagram, instagram.com slash ZTFTara. So if you want a tutorial, premium tutorial download of your choice, I'll give it away every week. And tablet giveaway is still going on, so you just become a subscriber on YouTube, and then um, I'm gonna just gonna send, randomly select you guys each month. Have a good day or night or whatever, wherever you are. Okay, bye-bye.